Yeah, what's up guys? I am Flash Isaac and welcome to my physics class. In my last video, I explained position, displacement and speed. I explained that speed is equals distance over time and it's a scalar quantity which implies that we are concerned about the size, about the magnitude and not direction and our velocity is displacement over time which is change in position so position is a point where an object is if i'm standing here this is my position if i move to this place this is my position 2, position 1. So change in position, which is position 2 minus position 1, is what? Our displacement. Today, I'll be taking you through motion. We can't touch speed, velocity, position, displacement without talking about motion. Because motion typically relates with all these stops. What is motion? Motion is simply change in position of an object with respect to time. Change in what? Position with respect to time. Time. Okay. Most objects are in the state of motion. Since we now know that motion is change in position of a body or of an object with time, what is the cause of this motion? What makes objects to change position? Because an object will remain like this on top of a bench or if it's already like this, in the state of rest so what makes object to move what makes things move what makes object to change position it is simply force when a force is applied to an object or when an object experiences a force it begins to change position according to newton in his first law it says that a body in rest, we continue to be at rest. Or if the body is moving, it will continue to move unless it is acted upon by a force. Applying force to this thing is coming down. My force and gravity making it down. If I hold it on the way, it means I've stopped, stopped it. So a, a, a force has stopped it and a force made it to move. And even the universe is in motion. Something called earth rotation and earth revolution. Now, forces makes objects to move or causes objects to be in motion. Now, there are different types of motion. Before then, we have speed, velocity. Another thing associated with motion is acceleration. Acceleration is changing velocity. Velocity over time. You see. So we relate all these things with time. The first type of motion I will explain here is rectilinear motion. Rectilinear motion is simply the motion of a body from one point to another. As I'm moving from one place to another, that is rectilinear motion, the motion of a cat. That's rectilinear motion. Or I'm riding a bicycle or a car going somewhere, moving from one point to another. That is rectilinear motion. Another example of motion is rotational motion. Rotational motion is the motion of a body about an axis. You have a point, an axis like this, and something is rotating around that axis. For example, fan. 
this your fan, this and axis. So the fan rotates about that axis. Your ceiling fan, your standing fan, even the fan in your laptop, they move about that axis. This rotational motion or the tires in your car. The tires in your car, it rotates. There's something here, it holds the other tire like this. This is your car. <laughs> so you see, so the tire is rotating about a particular point, which is the axis. That is what rotational motion. And there's another example I saw somewhere that a car, this is a roundabout, this is an axis, and the car moving around the roundabout is also rotating. And talking about rotational motion, there's another type of motion that we'll treat as a topic on its own later. That's circular motion. When the body moves around a circle around a point with a fixed velocity, fixed speed, but the uh, position is changing. We have random motion. Random motion. Random motion is a zigzag motion of a body or continuous change in direction. When the body is moving, an object or a car with a very uh, change in direction all the time, it's random motion. For example, the butterfly, as it's moving, it's changing position, it's changing direction, or smoke. When you are cooking, you see the smoke, it moves in a random manner. And even the fish in the sea, it exhibits a random motion. It moves in a zigzag manner and the direction changes continuously. That's uh, random motion. Then we have a uh, oscillatory motion. Oscillatory motion is simply to and fro motion of a body. Let's say you are uh, in your gym. This is punching bag is tied up here. So as you punch it, it goes, it comes, it goes, it comes. That's uh, oscillatory motion or a pendulum which has a bear as you hit it it's going and coming that's oscillatory motion and even all those be uh, bears in church and another type of motion is relative motion relative motion is the motion of a body relative to another look at this common example Let's say you are traveling in a train. This is train one. Another train is passing train two. And this one is moving at 20 meter per second velocity. This one is 25 meter per second. As this train overtakes this one, you will not feel the difference in the speed, which is five meter per second. You won't feel the obvious 25 meter per second. You won't feel this. So that means the other train is moving relative to you. Or as you are traveling on a high speed, and you see the trees, they seem to be traveling also in a relative manner. That's relative motion. Okay. And another example of rotational motion is your, uh, your wristwatch. The hand of your wristwatch is rotated about its axis. So these are the common types of motion. And motion is changing position of a body with respect to time. Time is a reference, and these are motion, random motion, rectilinear motion, relative motion, rotational motion. And I said speed is changing distance over time, and speed is a scalar quantity. Uh, velocity, acceleration are derived quantity. The um, distance is a basic quantity, time is a basic quantity. I've explained all this before. So this is it, and also in future we'll be doing calculations under motion, Newton's laws of motion and other stuff. Alright, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to this channel for more amazing videos like this.